We start with the cutscene. It is time to begin your new assignment. Ah, a photo op by your shiny new shuttle. Terrific idea. Oh, you really are an idiot. What? You are to take that shuttle to the moon base and ambush those two miscreants when they arrive. Oh, yes. <laughs> Who are they again? <sighs> those two! Oh, of course. <laughs> there is just one problem. I'm, uh... Too washed up for ground combat? True. That is why I will be loading you my Starfighter. You can still fly, can't you? It's settled then. You will acquire the Starfighter once you get to the moon. Screw this up, and the endorsement deal is off! <gasps> but that would ruin me! You wouldn't. <laughs> Try me. Red ship survives another day. Red ship is the best ship. I think we stick with red ship the longest out of any of the ships. Why is he wearing the helmet and the ship? Why not? I guess, yeah. I did not see direct ship. We must have missed him. Who knows where Quark is now? If we're gonna catch those two, we need a faster ship. Perhaps this space station will supply the ship we need. Well, we're here. Let's go check it out. Okay, so this place is actually pretty cool. I actually really like this level. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have like any special gimmicks or anything, which makes it way better than like the fucking Poo gas planet or ice planet or whatever. Bisque so, planet. Yeah, well, bisque planet wasn't too bad. Uh. Alright, so the new gun we picked up is the Visibomb gun. And it lets us. Yeah, the Visibomb gun you can control and you can see where it's going. And if you blow up all of the cars in this level, then you get a skill point. Guess we're not we're not fucking doing because it's tedious and boring as hell. Collecting all the gold bolts? Well, no, we're still doing that. Oh. Gold bolts are important. And we'll actually find out why, at the very end of this video, why gold bolts are important. Oh, I'm excited. Yay. <laughs> no, you're not. Actually, I'm a little bit excited. Oh, okay. Uh. And then there are these chicken enemies. They make funny noises when you kill them. That's cool. Yeah. I'm going back for ammo, in case you're wondering. Uh, okay. I... Way to eat up time. Well... I got some great... I like that guy. On the bright side, I think this is the level that I started recording on a good day again, because I don't seem to mess up too badly. Uh, I like the words seem to and too badly. Yeah. I mean, it's me. What do you expect? Although, I did prove today, earlier, that I am not the worst at video games. Hey. I'm getting better. <laughs> I still lose track of where I am a lot, because there's a lot of shit in that game and it just all looks the same. We're all talking about all for one. Yeah, I have I have no idea when that's going to start up guys because like that that fucking commentary is a chore to edit. It's totally gonna be worth it though. Yeah. Yeah, us playing through that entire game blind, or mostly blind in the case of like, I don't know, most of the levels. Pretty worth it. Yeah. Although, at the rate I'm going for actually working on it, uh, I think we'll be done all the PS1 games by the time it finally goes up. Probably. <laughs> it's it's a chore all the way around. Except for playing it. That's well, the fun part. In, in, the, in the loosest sense of the word. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think if I were you would describe it accurately. It starts off really good, and then it just... 
it really, really nosedives really fast. It has its high points and low points, but they're mostly low points. But low points are funny just because how badly shit goes wrong. <laughs> Sometimes it does not register the fact that you're pushing triangle when you need to push triangle. Sometimes bosses don't spawn. <laughs> That's the best part. When the bosses... Sometimes bosses... Do spawn, and when you kill them, the game doesn't let you progress until people are done talking. But you think that the game hasn't spawned anything because they're taking so long to talk. Sometimes bullshit mechanics get you killed over and over and over again. It's great. And in my case, sometimes you lose track of where you are because everything looks the goddamn same, and you <laughs> fall off things over and over. Oh yeah. And okay. These guys behind the green gr uh, glass, they're assholes because the moment you get anywhere within their sight line of sight, they start shooting you from a turret. And most of the time they're easily avoidable, but then they start putting them in places where like you really can't avoid them, so you have to kill them. Jerks. Yeah, but it's actually pretty cool. I think that's as gimmicky as this level gets, to be honest. No, um, something bothers me. Um, it's really, really just stupid minor and isn't anything at all, but just bothers me personally. What? Where are they getting all the wood for these crates? That one planet that they were cutting down all of the trees on. All of them. Because uh, we're, we're Captain Planet, Dylan. Well, apparently they're making crates out of the trees. Yeah, that's that's what's going on. Oh, okay, and the reason I'm doing this particular tower this particular way is because that jet enemy right there, they're kind of dicks. Their missiles are really hard to avoid, and they start firing as soon as you're within their line of sight, so you just want to either visibomb gun them from around a corner, or just really, really quickly pop in, fire, like, two Devastator missiles, which is enough to kill them, and then run away before they can get a good look at you. Okay. Oh, hey, there's one, too. Yeah, there's, there's, there's two of them, and it's, they're just giant dicks. I hate them. I hate Man, them. There's a big old missile coming at me pretty slowly. Maybe I should get out of the way. Nah. Nah, it's... It's just... We're fine. They're good. Yeah. It's... Oh, and these green things explode. Though you've probably seen that like a million times because I've been shooting them all the time, always. Ooh. I found the critical error <laughs> in Chairman Drek's plan. <laughs> and it's a lack of a survival instinct in all of his forces. <laughs> to be fair, that's the trouble with most of the villains in any of the Ratchet and Clank games. Uh, well, there's also the complete lack of initiative, you know. That guy was just standing there like, hey, that's a guy I'm supposed to kill. <laughs> I wonder if I should go over and say it. No, I think, I think their field of vision is just really bad because... Maybe it's the goggles. Maybe. Which is also a weakness in Chairman Drek's plan. Yeah, like, you don't put glass in a thing. Well, we have ordered all these vision obscuring goggles, and well, damn it, we're gonna use them. <laughs> Dig those PS2 menus. Robots that. I don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> they're trying to get me, but then well, they don't run off the edge. No, I mean, just look the way they walk. I mean, look at them. Oh, true. Yeah. Because they've killed them all. Rewind it and look at it. Okay, so are you ready for the most bullshit gold bolt in the game? I am not at all. Well, too bad we're getting it. Okay, so it's over there behind the energy field. And that energy field is powered by, as always, a tower. In order to get that, t that tower to down, you need to shoot a vis bomb through this tunnel, up, bring it around down the completely different tunnel, and then shoot the tower. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is horseshit. That is the biggest horseshit. I don't think I ever, 
ever. How would you know to do that? Like, like I, I was just about to say, I don't think I've ever had to get this gold bolt without having to look it up beforehand. This is the stupidest motherfucking gold bolt, and I got it. That was the first take, too. I was proud of myself. I didn't have to re-record that shit or edit it at all. Now, oh, this green stuff burns you, burns your butt. Don't touch green stuff. Yeah, this secto cooler would be pretty old at this point. Yeah. Cooler. Oh god, having to go through menus to select gadgets. You can put them on your quick select, but uh, I. I don't, because I need that space for weapons. I know, no, that's, that's why it's done. Yeah, I, that's why I really like the PS3 games, because the PS3 games just lets you select all of them from your quick select. It's nice. I miss it. I miss a lot of things in the newer games. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what is... what the heck is this? Is it supposed to be lava? Um, it's, I think it's supposed to be some sort of acid? Is it hydraulic fluid? Yeah, okay, let's go with that. It's hydraulic fluid. Well, then why is there a big pool of it? Um, because they really, really need hydraulics. That's how yeah, it works. Yeah, that's probably important in the space station. Yeah, it really is. Okay, mystery solved. That wasn't really a mystery at all. No. Just me being a, a jackass and trying to fill in big voids of no talking. Oh, and uh, don't try to jump down to that platform before shooting these things off because you won't be able to grab on and you'll fall into the green acid ecto cooler. We have to assi we we're su assigning every fucking liquid a different name other than what it's supposed to be, aren't we? Yeah. Except uh... water. Water is pretty universal, apparently. Yeah, you can't really... Well, there's, there's lots of things that are clear liquids, but yeah, most of them are highly dangerous. I still like the fucking sounds that the little chicken robots make when they die. It's the silliest thing. I just... I, they're growing on me, just the way they flop around. Yeah. <laughs> they're probably part of the reason why I like this level so much. Because all the enemies are goofy and, for the most part, not annoying as shit. Up. Uh, I'm just filling it up. No. Oh, no, I am getting a new weapon, that's right. Um, I debate for... Oh, no, that's right, I don't get it quite yet, because I don't think I have enough. But I will be getting one as soon as I hit 5,000, because both of the new weapons cost 5,000. And they're both kind of... Eh. But you got one shot, make it count. Alright, here we go! Great shot, kid. That was one of the other. <laughs> I hate myself. Why? That's actually from one of the good ones. No, just for using that reference. Oh, okay. I, just, uh, I don't know. Thought you were better than that? No, I just kind of hoped I was. <laughs> Let's let's be honest here. We're talking over a video game. We are not exactly high class people. <laughs> okay, so yeah, here I go. Now I'm going to get the new weapon. And long jumping is faster than normal walking. Well, yeah, you're using rockets. <laughs> All right, I debate between getting the decoy glove or the drone device, and I end up going with the decoy glove because it helps me do a thing off camera. And it's purple. And it's purple. Purple is a good color. Alright, so I'm gonna show off what it does a grand total of once and then explain why the decoy glove is amazing for breaking the game's economy after I'm done showing it off. Okay. Alright, so decoy glove, exactly what it you would think it would be. It shoots out a little decoy view and this confuses enemies. And it makes them think it's you for some reason, even though it's really not you. And... Okay. Yeah, and then it explodes. Third flaw in Chairman Drex's plan. <laughs> They're all 
idiots. And the reason this is great for breaking the economy is they fixed a certain bug in this game for the PS3 release and as well as the international releases where if you got a certain gadget and then used it while talking to the um, the lady at Blackwater City to enter the race... Oh, don't talk to me about that <laughs> You would be able to walk around on the track and, and, like, break all the crates forever. They took that out. However, the track is still on the map. It is a physical place that you can reach. It's just really out of the way. Yeah, that's how most stuff is done. Yeah. So, what you do is you get up to one of the corners in the um, in the lobby that the lady's waiting at, and then you throw two decoy gloves down, and it pushes you through the wall. At which point you can walk along the edge of the map and then jump to the track anyway. And at that point you just find a nice place where uh, the, the crates are always off screen, tape down the circle button with the taunter equipped, and then rake in the dough. And you get about a thousand bolts a minute or something stupid like that, and I'm not gonna lie, I do this at some point off camera for the LP, because, like, really fuck grinding for the Rhino. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this, this game is really stingy on the bolts, and any anything I can do to, like, minimize the effort I have to take in order to use them or get them, I'll take. Alright, those holes back there look like something Plank can do. Uh, they are not. However, they are important because this is the way you get past the next set of turret tubes. You just shoot missiles up at their butts. And also blasters, but uh, I didn't want to go to the menu at first, so I try using Glove of Doom. So this third guy's there sitting there thinking, huh, the other <laughs> two guys died suddenly. I wonder if that has anything to do with, you know, these holes behind me. Okay, so long story short, uh, Glove of Doom ammo does not fit into these things, and when they do, it just falls right through the geometry anyway. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so... I, I just have to go into the menus and equip the blaster anyway. <laughs> I told you, it was only partly competence. I didn't promise full confidence. I can never promise that. Yeah, I can't even promise that much. I... Me and Gravity aren't having a good day. <laughs> Any day that we play all for one, Gravity does not have to agree with you. I, it's gonna be hilarious when the all for one just gets uploaded like a year after these go. <laughs> <down. laughs> Alright, and this is the last room in the level. I wish the chicken bots made a noise. Like if they just walk around and want bop 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 bop. Well, we did that little floppy walk that would be Oh, okay. Nice. I was about to say, they do kind of balk when you kill them, which is why I like them so much. Anyway, this is just one giant kill room. Hope you like the uh, flamethrower, because there's no way you're going to survive without it. Killing enough of them at once, it kind of looks like they're saying balk, balk while they walk, and that makes me very happy. <laughs> Please, sir. Yep, and the only way to get out of this room is to kill everything. Oh, you know, I have one of those doors installed in my house. It's a great security measure. You have to kill me to get it open. <laughs> okay. Remind me never to go to your house. Well, yeah, I don't use that room anymore. Yeah, I, I figured you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not the greatest idea I've ever had, I'm gonna be honest. Hey, you ready to meet somebody that, uh, you really like? <gasps> it's a big chicken bomb. No, too bad, it's just Captain Quark. Uh, Look, there he is. Hello, Captain Ratchet. <laughs> Come and get me, hero! Perhaps we could obtain the ship in there. Great idea! 
Let's go. Oh god, I just noticed his face on the icon. <laughs> He's, is, is he made out of clay? I don't know. Okay, okay but ignoring that is... I'm, gonna try to, I'm just going to physically hold my hand over that part. Um, one of the things Bork is bad at a lot of things, but he's apparently actually really good at the fire. Time to get up close and like yeah. legitimately good at it. Not so much him. <laughs> no, because he's... The, this is actually a really hard fight for a couple of reasons. The main being that he has a lot of health and you not so much. Uh, truth be told, this is actually the second take. Two takes. Yep, it was pretty rough. Also, these guys are your only source of extra ammo and health in the entire fight, so hope you don't suck too much. Suck just enough. Suck just just enough to make it interesting visually, but not enough to die. Also, missiles tend to lock on after you leave them on for a really long time. I was reading the thing where, where on the forums where someone pointed out that if you play games too good, unless they have really great commentary, it's not very interesting to watch. Yeah. So it's a good thing that I'm awful at video games. Uh, mayday! Mayday! Well, Ratchet, I'd say you passed the test! <laughs> oh, boy! Fuck up! Yes! Quark is history! Despite my earlier criticism, I must admit, your piloting skills are improving. I knew you'd come around. But that has not helped us locate Drek. Come on, Clank. Can't you just once relax and enjoy a little success? Hey, you want to catch Drek? Bet you this baby can do it. This is Darla Gratch reporting live from Gorda City. This once peaceful planet is being torn apart today in an unprovoked attack. It now seems certain that Supreme Executive Chairman Drek will not be dissuaded in his efforts to destroy the galaxy for his own selfish needs. All hope certainly seems lost. Dolagratch, Channel 2 News. Yes, I know. It is worse than I expected, too. Look, maybe you were right. This is a lot bigger than you or me. I was really selfish focusing on Quark. It is not too late to stop Drek. Hey, yeah! We've got this new ship! Let's go get him! Now you are talking. Brand new ship, just randomly. It's nice and black and sleek, it's like the Batmobile. And rip red ship. Yep, rip red ship. And are you ready to find out what gold bolts are for? Do they make all your dreams come true? No. If you wall jump up here and then take this elevator it takes you up this really, really long elevator shaft. It's like Mass Effect levels long. So, wait, hold the fucking fuck. You could be playing this entire game and collecting all the gold bolts, but you would never know what they were for unless you went up that particular wall jump. There's there's another particular set of... Pla there's another place you can get the gold uh, weapons there in the New Game Plus... But yes, on your first playthrough, you only have five of the ten gold weapons available, and you only can only get it there. So if you don't know it's there, well then fuck you. I don't get any of them because they break the game pretty bad, so. 